That's how I pull up in the scene Chasing dreams faster than a Rory Tied up pulling strings and making enemies Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mikey And yes, today It's about that time Supreme Season is back at it Thank God, because man, I've been running out of content to do, but I have been putting music out if you guys don't even know. My music video has just dropped recently. Go and check it out, Mike Wave, 13 Bad Luck. Check it out, it's pretty dope. It's my first music video ever, so it was pretty cool. It was a pretty cool experience, but more music is coming on the way. The tape is being worked on, so just be patient with me as much as possible. I just got accepted to San Jose State. <laughs> So that's also cool. Just know I'm a busy bee right now. So just be patient with me when it comes to content. Supreme Lookbook is here. I've already recorded. I don't know why I haven't done this first, the introduction first and then this is what it is. But um, today is the Supreme Lookbook, obviously for the fall and winter 2020. Um, I'm really looking forward into it. Let me just go ahead and press this first link right here, this first little box, bam. Um, so we're starting off with a purple varsity jacket and it's a king hooded varsity jacket what it looks like so far not too bad quilted a little bit on the inside lining purple comes with red and white and also comes in black and blue so I think the most popular out of those is probably going to be the black and blue or the purple one um, in my opinion I think the purple one's the best but yeah really cool really cool this is also the globe ma jacket it's a bomber jacket basically um looks really interesting not gonna lie small box logo right there and it's got a whole nice graphic in the back definitely different um i don't know if bomber jackets are like still in um i mean it is what it is if it is i'm not gonna lie we do have the gartex jacket once again puff it in lining Nice. So your cheetah print. I think the cheetah print is obviously going to be the one to sell out first. The red, green, and then you got black. So, yeah, nice. Not too bad, but not my taste. We also have another faux fur jacket, but this time it's a hoodie. So that's definitely different from what they're used to making. Um, that font looks really nice. Holy shit. It's like cursive. It's basically cursive. Um, quilted and lining, and it's reversible. Holy shit. But... Knowing faux, I think it's going to be maybe 298, 300 is my guess, but really looks nice. Ooh, this is a really good color. That's a nice color. Uh, what other colors are coming? With? Um, yeah, just those, just those two colors. Beautiful. Not too bad. Not too bad. You got this shirt, little floral shirt right here. Nice. Comes in three different color ways. All right. All right. Doesn't look too bad. I feel like... They've done a little bit too much floral prints lately, but hey, you know, still looks pretty nice. I really like the the dark colored one. Not the white and black one, but the darker red. And then that one, that one looks pretty nice. You got the spiked studded collar rayon shirt. Don't know how I feel about this. This definitely doesn't look bad though. Looks like something I would actually probably wear. Interesting. You got the blue, oh, that's different. Oh shit, it's gradient with like yellow with blue. Hmm, the black one looks pretty crazy. Okay, these are, those are definitely different. Uh, ooh, chains. This reminds me of some Versace shit though, so eh, not a huge fan of the pattern, but I could see why people would wear this. It doesn't look too bad. Huh, yeah, it has like, it has like a chain cutter and everything, huh? Pretty interesting. Marble silk. Damn, that looks that looks crazy. Ooh, that white one looks pretty nice. I seen this on somewhere already. The penguin rayon shirt. I think that one's gonna be a really hot item this um, season. I think everybody's gonna want to get that. Definitely for the winter time, winter vibes. In my opinion, I feel like the white and black and the blue and white are the best colorways. The red, eh, got this. It's another Vanson leather. Okay, so you already know this is gonna be out the wazoo. This shit's gonna be like eight thousand dollars and shit. I'm over exaggerating, but you know it's gonna be expensive. Okay, quilted lining, Vanson Supreme doesn't look too bad. Looks too basic though. I'm not paying. I'm not paying the amount that they're asking for. So no. They got the. It's a reflective speckled down jacket. I like puffy jackets. They look pretty nice, especially if you're like 
you know, live in the East Coast. I know it's like a high thing back over there. West Coast, not so much. It doesn't really get cold like that over here, so. Okay, it's got the box logo on the back. Nice, good, gray colors, not too bad. All right, and it's reflective. I wanna see what it looks like reflective, but it looks like it doesn't show us. Yes, yes, yes. Another Fox Supreme fucking collab. Let's fucking go. I still want to get the um the motor pants of the Supreme Fox um collab, but this looks like an actual uh, racing puffy jacket, just a regular jacket. This looks fire. What colors does it come with? Oh my god, it comes with pretty decent colorways. Okay, easily I'm probably gonna cop this. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break this season though when it comes to spending money. Um, school, like I said, just started. Also, not only that, like, I'm saving up for a car still, so. But man, this shit right here, oh, fuck. That's, that's hot. That's, I'm actually really hyped for that shit. Hopefully it's not too expensive. All right, getting some more work jackets. Um, huh. Oh, I heard that, um, uh, the Toshio is gonna have more collabs with Supreme, so that's gonna be actually really cool. Um, this is a definitely interesting piece. It kind of has that like different types of artwork and it's kind of like patchwork, but not really. So Smurfs, I know are having a collab this season, which is kind of wild. Um, of course I used to, you know, I, I did watch the Smurfs at one point, you know, it's a really old show. I think my parents have, my grandfather definitely knows what it is. Um, I don't know how to feel about it just yet. Let's see these pieces real quick. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, I can kind of, I can kind of dig that. Press the wrong button again. God damn it. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Probably wouldn't get that item. Oh, that neon green. Eh. Hmm. Eh. All right. This is definitely interesting looking. It's a black arc denim. So this is a denim jacket with really weird printing. Not gonna lie. Kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. The yellow, especially. The yellow looks kind of nice. I don't know what it is, but it looks pretty nice. The regular denim, black denim. Doesn't look too bad. I can see people wearing that. Also, with actual pants, too. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Depends on how the pants fit. But we shall see. I know Boone has been wanting like actual good pants lately because Supreme never drops any good pants um, as of as of recent but hopefully you know he gets a pretty good pair of nice um, pants but we have this puffer jacket right here oh it has Supreme on like the very bottom and it cuts off a little bit that's an interesting one you got the pink one so if you want to look like Majin Buu I mean go ahead uh, if that's a look for you huh it has like scriptures in it or like scripts in it. Definitely interesting. I don't know how to feel about it. It's water resistant too, of course. I don't know how to feel about it. Uh, oh, it's one of those jackets where you can put like in a little thing. I have a jacket like that. It's a unicorn jacket. By far, one of the best jackets that I've ever had. So, and it's quality. It's all, and it's really cheap too. It's like $69 for like a hooded puffy. And you can fit in like a little bag. Definitely recommend, but looks like Supreme's going for this as well. Hey, I mean, by all means, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, not the fan of the white and black one, but the all black one, all blue one, pretty sick. Got more jackets, I think. Fleece jacket, ooh. I think I've seen, this is an artwork piece I know. I don't remember what it was, but this one doesn't look too bad. It looks really interesting. I could see people wearing this. Um, yeah, definitely interesting. Black one, it's a windstopper uh, fleece. Oh, it's reversible. Oh shit. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna be a, a piece that everybody wants because they're gonna think it's a box logo because, I mean, it's there, but it's not a box logo. But yeah, that's gonna be a really sought out piece. Another uh, marble piece, but with a track jacket instead. Interesting, interesting. Um, I definitely do more, need more jackets for the winter. Pants come with it as well. Um, eh, looks all right. Doesn't look too crazy. Pants don't look that bad though. I like the logo, it's pretty interesting. Regular shirts, I know some people actually dig these kind of shirts. Um, I think they use really good, great colors this season. Not too bad, off of right here. 
watches. Okay, I don't know why, but like on when I went on Instagram trying to avoid any spoilers, which didn't happen. Um, apparently there might be a watch piece. I don't know, but from this item right here, it's like it has watches on it. Uh, definitely a cool piece. I dig it. Not gonna lie, reversible as well. They're really coming in with the reversibles, which, which is what I like because it's a, it's like a it's like two outfits in one. So you can't really go bad with that. Eh, the ones eh, that that ain't the war <laughs> yeah. That's definitely not the move. Yeah, so I'd say the black and neon green one's probably the move to go to. Resale's probably gonna do super well on those. Um, another puffy jacket. It definitely has a box logo on it on the front too. Um, it's a micro box logo. Hmm, that's gonna be an interesting uh, thing to see on the market. I don't know if people are actually gonna think of it as a box logo, but it doesn't look that bad. I actually kind of dig it, and it has a zipper on the bottom too. So, huh? Maybe I'm, I'll probably go. I would go for that, to be honest. Definitely interesting. Um, another jacket. Huh. Really interesting graphic. I don't know how it's going to look actually in person, but from the pictures, it doesn't look too bad. Kind of like it. Another velvet work jacket. Nice. Ooh. Checkered. That's going to be... That's actually a really sick item to see. They, got the, they have a penguin fleece hoodie bro now this is going to be a really sought out item supreme on the bottom easy clap obviously my favorite would be the black and white to the bl um black and blue other than that the red not it looks pretty weird be nice though i'm not gonna lie that's actually a really nice color all right yep yeah. track jackets nice nice can never go wrong with track jackets uh, let's see Change quilted jacket, nice. That's actually a pretty sick piece. I think the black will do it. I'm sorry if I'm like bashing your guys' like taste or anything. I don't want to make it seem like everything's trash, but you know, just not my style. So this is another Smurf collab. Um, honestly, um, this item right here isn't bad, but I feel like, hmm. It can go one of two ways. It's a hit or miss. Like, if you really fuck with the Smurfs and shit like that, and you love the graphic of it, and the design of this jacket, um, this is gonna do super well, especially over time. Like, if we're talking about maybe three, two years, definitely a piece, if that, if it retails 198 to 200, it's definitely gonna be in the 500, 600 range. So I would really encourage people to hold on to this, not quick sell it, but I'm just knowing the people in Hypebeast that they're just gonna quick sell it. Definitely a sick piece though, not gonna lie. I feel like that's gonna be a piece over time that is gonna be a grail for, to some people. Pants to go with, not too bad. That's an interesting sweater, okay. Okay, I can see people wearing this too. Angry man on the front. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, they're two different. I wonder if they'll be like, it'll be like, you have to choose this color to have this type of face, and you have to choose this color to have this type of face. If that's the case, then these are gonna do super well in the market. But yeah, not too bad, not too bad. So far, the Smurf collection is not looking that bad. I thought it was gonna be iffy, but I, I can't complain. Okay, I seen this on Instagram by mistake, cause I'm not gonna avoid spoilers apparently. Here's the thing with this. So it is a box logo, but it's a cross this time. Here's my take on this. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not a huge fan of this <laughs> box logo. I'm not a huge fan. It looks super weird. It's it's a box logo, but it's just like, it's different from other box logos, but it just makes it seem like they ran out of ideas. So I honestly don't know how to feel about it. Um, you guys, in the com um, let me know in the comment section down below like what your take is on the cross box logo. In my opinion, I just, eh, doesn't really do it for me. But I can see why other people really like it as well. So, yeah, see the colors it comes with. Okay, you got cream, purple, gray, yellow. Is that like a navy? Or is that like an ash gray? That ash gray looks really nice. I don't know, something about it. Something about that ash gray. I don't know, it might do it for me. I don't know why. Something about that color. If it's a navy, then it's a hard no, sorry. But 
It looks like a gray, in my opinion, so it uh, doesn't look too bad. Let me know what your guys' um, take is on this box logo, because I honestly don't really know how to feel about it yet. All right, so we have another Smurf Supreme hoodie. That's definitely not gonna do it. You can barely see the graphic. Yeah, I don't know about that, Chief. Okay, you just moved. You, see, y'all were up here for a minute. Now you guys are like slowly declining. I'm gonna need you to come up with better ideas. Another um, uh, Toshio collab. Doesn't look too bad. I feel like the placement's kind of weird though. Colors are interesting. Um, another aerial. It looks like a photo tee technically. Well, photographic hoodie, I guess you could say. It's a, well, it's not even a hoodie, well, it's a crew neck, but not too bad. Not too bad colors either. I think the burgundy, the maroon would be a nice color. They come with the hoodie, the chain, or not the chain, the color hoodies as well. Um, ooh. Okay, listen, I know, I know everybody's hating the ARC logo right now. I do too. I do too. I'm with you guys 100%. But I don't know what it is. This is just a regular ARC logo, but something about that ice, like, shaving on the top, it kind of does it for me. Like, that looks pretty clean. I'm not going to lie, especially in the winter fall time. Like, that's icy, bro. I don't know. That might be an actual good item to cop. So that looks pretty cool. Really great colors too, except for that Gucci colorway. Don't don't talk to me about Gucci colorways. I'm, I promise you, I'm probably gonna end your life. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not the huge fan of that color. But the gray doesn't look too bad. Navy doesn't look too bad. The yellow looks really nice. The black looks nice, and there's like a pink one. The pink one might do it. So definitely an item to be look on the look for. Okay, listen, so S logos. Listen, I know the ARC logos are overused, but the S logos, they, they kind of need to stop. Like, you guys are just running out of ideas. The S logos look I, the colors, eh, the design just doesn't do it for me. Ooh, a Pharaoh photo tee. All right, guys, we got another photo tee. All right, I'm gonna let you guys know right now, please do not treat this like the Boohoo pants and tee. <laughs> please don't. Because holy shit, that shit bricked. I mean, luckily for me, I quick sold and I sold it for I think 200. Um, this right here, it could be one of two ways. It could be a hit or miss with a lot of people. For this one, I think it doesn't look too bad. I think it looks really nice. I'm not entirely sure of who this artist is, but it looks really clean. Highly recommend getting that. It's probably gonna be a week one thing, so stay ready. Nice, not too bad though. A tire tee. Definitely interesting. Supreme, huh. That's a new one. Say positive tee, uh, ooh. That's kind of cool, 1994. Huh. Ooh, that looks kind of sick. Oh, hell yeah, jet tee. The future, <sighs> they're bringing this font back? Holy shit. Oh my God, I remember this kind of font. Um, I mean, obviously I'm a, I'm a SS18 kid, so I don't know much about the older items, but I've seen this design before and I've seen the font before. Oh yeah, this is gonna do well. I like it. I'm really curious to see the colors it comes with. Is this an actual, <laughs> is this an actual CAPTCHA tee? I might get this. <laughs> I might get this just for the memes, to be honest. Holy shit. I think everybody's gonna get it, to be honest. Uh, this is a cool tea, lover's tea. Yeah, that's not gonna do it for me, Chief. <laughs> that capture tea, yeah. That's definitely funny. This doesn't look too bad. Um, looks all right. <laughs> Fuck sweater. Oh my God, they made so many of these type of sweaters and shirts. Like, fuck. Yeah, so. Not too bad though. Flannels. Nice flannel, yellow. I always wanted to look for a yellow flannel. Um, huh, really nice design in the back too. Not too bad. Hmm. I'm really curious to see what the price is on those. A snake skin, it's a, quarter, it's a corduroy snake skin. Huh, I've never seen that before. Interesting, quick for y'all. These don't look bad, honestly. I could see people wearing this, um, especially the shirt. I think the rayon shirt looks pretty cool. Um, it's up to the person with of how they dress and everything though. All right, let's see. Refrig re refrig where refrig where? I never really heard of. Oh shit! 
Huh, it's really interesting looking. It has a little faux on, on the um, collar of the jacket. Really interesting looking. Hmm. Hmm. They have a vest too. Really interesting. With snakeskin corduroy hats, that's pretty sick. That The pink one looks really nice. Um, as, as you guys know, I'm not really a hat person per se, um, but I don't shit on them. Only if they're like disgusting designs. Most of these are decent. This is, eh. Um, that flannel might do it. Okay. Another flannel. The colors are decent this time too. The zipper uh, mesh ones, eh. Okay. Not too bad. So far, I'm looking at a lot of box logo. I mean, most of them do, but like they're real, they're mainly like Supreme on the very front for the most part. Haven't seen anything different. Oh, they have the pile ear flap camel caps. Oh, I know Boone's gonna go crazy for this one. Um, looks like right. these look I. Right. Yeah, some of them, most of them look kind of the same to me. Uh, crochet hat, whoa. Uh, more Crusher hats. Uh, ooh, a Crusher snakeskin corduroy. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Gore-Tex, they usually do that. Um, I see a lot of, I think a Crusher's like really in right now. Um, like really schoolboy Q type beat. Like they're, they have been just popping everywhere lately. Oh yeah, see the Futura, like I said guys, this right here is that's gonna be a highly sought out item, especially a crew neck. Um, they might drop the same week. If they decide to do the week after week, just expect a whole lot of bullshit, but uh, I'd rather be in all in one week, so just so you can just end my pain like fast instead of slowly. So yeah, hopefully they drop the same week, but not too bad. Ooh, they come in a hoodie too. If anything though, I'm probably gonna go for the jacket more than the hoodie, cause the hoodie, um, looks okay, but I think it just look way better on a jacket instead of like a hoodie. Um, I'm, if this collab pops up, I'm sorry, but I might have to cop because these look really nice. Foxes are my thing and looking at this, hey, not too bad. Whoa, that's a crazy design. Huh, I'm curious to see how that does. I don't know, it's a hit or miss, definitely. Ooh, that red one, though. All right, we have the Telex, Telex Kala uh, blanket. I'm sorry if I'm really sh like butchering that name. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's not too bad, though. Uh, really different design. I like it. It's pretty cool. Colors aren't too bad. Okay. Ooh. Okay, okay. The pants is not too bad. Oh yeah, those look kind of sick. Um, oh, that looks kind of cool. It looks really like old school digital type vibes. You know what I mean? Like Windows XP type beat, you know? And I feel like they could have done better, but it's not too bad. Backpack, okay. We're getting into bags. So hopefully these bags are okay. Cause lately they've just been like meh. But last season's bags weren't too bad. Don't get me wrong. They actually weren't that bad. Um, the season before that was decent as well. We'll see. We'll see how this plays out. Backpack looks pretty sick. Cheetah print. Box logo on the bottom. Clean. Slick. Nice. Great colors. Great colors so far. Okay. Not too bad. Is that a tote bag? Oh. Nice tote. Okay. Think about getting a tote bag, but I don't know. It's a mini duffel bag might be copped. See, I would get duffel bags if I was traveling, but no, Corona, no. Definitely preying on my downfall. Like they do not want me to be great for some weird reason, so I can't travel as often. Water resistant as well, guys, really sick. Um, mini duffel, so it's probably not gonna be super big, but I wouldn't mind getting one. Um, if I'm just like packing up for something real quick, definitely something to be looking into. Um, def, great colors. It looks like these are the coat main four colors that they're going for. Not too bad at all. Um, obviously the cheetah print and the black's gonna do the best. Um, I don't know about the green and I don't know about the red, so we'll see about that. A sling bag. Okay, so for you guys that actually like wear fanny packs on your shoulder for some weird reason, I mean, this could be for you. Um, 
I don't really know if that style is really in anymore, but looks like it's gonna be the same colorways though. Not too bad. Um, I can see I can see a lot of women wearing those. A waist bag. Um, hmm. Huh. Doesn't look bad. Hmm. Don't know how to feel about it yet. A yeah, neck pouch. What's a neck pouch? What's that supposed to be? Oh, like a, okay. Uh, yeah. Waterproof reflective speckle backpack. So it looks like they're gonna have the reflective speckles on the bags as well. Not too bad. Can't be mad about that. Decent colorways. Um, ooh, a shoulder bag. I do, I keep saying I need a shoulder bag, guys. I don't know why I haven't gotten one yet. Um, these are okay, though. I wouldn't get those per se to be a bag. I'd rather have something really subtle. Uh, canvas backpacks, nice. Wow, so, so like almost Jeff Sport, <laughs> but Supreme on it. So if you guys are into that, I mean, hey, I don't see why not buy it. Depends on the price though. Canvas totes as well, not too bad, awesome. Bags, so far about say like a 6.7 out of 10, maybe lower, not too bad though. Whoa, okay, Kangol. Kangol is just making a comeback. Clear label, what is this, fucking off-white? Oh my god. Smurf. Hmm. Hit or miss with those. Oh, the star, if so. So if you got the, uh, I don't remember what this, I think it was a dunk that they did with this kind of logo, with the Supreme, so I guess you can match, but I mean, kind of too late. That was like two seasons ago, maybe, or last season, I don't quite remember. Ooh, that's fire. That's fire. The S logos with the little ice shavings on it. Fire. Penguin beanie. Felt like they could have done something better. So the, they have a cross beanie. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. There's the beanie. That definitely not it. I'm sorry. <laughs> definitely not the move. Especially because it's not even on the rim like it usually is. It's actually on the fucking beanie. Definitely not the move. <laughs> I'm almost to my favorite part, yo. I'm pretty, I'm pretty hyped. Uh, corduroy. Can't, with the pants, corduroy, snakeskin. Um, not too bad. They have those pants as well. Looks like they have a lot more pants now. Um, the pants aren't honestly that bad. Uh, I can't be mad about them. They're not really bad. They're actually a lot of them are decent. Yeah, I don't think any of the pants are really horrible. Like, of course you have your regular basic shit, but. They're definitely not horrible, so more, a little bit more of a selection on pants. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Gore-Tex, Futura. Futura, I don't know how to feel yet about being on a hat. Don't know how to feel about those being on a hat either. Huh, Tech Trooper. Huh, definitely different. Rona, since Rona season is upon us, guys, this might be the move. <laughs> Doesn't look too bad at all. Not too bad. Um, another Trooper hat. Nice with fur. Sick design, nice, nice, not too shabby. And then I have a scripted logo, one. Not too shabby so far. Okay, well hats are definitely not too bad either. And, whoa, is this like a motion logo on crack? It's supposed to be a bleed logo. Don't know how to feel about that. Uh, most of these are gonna be like the $70 ones. I already have a feeling. See, I, I just don't get these type of tees. I mean, I don't even, well, it's not, I don't even know what, oh, man, uh, it's just, I, I just don't get these type of tees and why they do decent, it's just like, it's a basic tee, and they're like $78 off retail, it's so stupid. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, most of these are just really basic looking for the most part. Yeah, nothing too, nothing too crazy, guys, but we are at my favorite part, bro. So it does look like they're coming out with a watch. A Jacob and Company watch. All right, so little thing on Jacob and Company. I know they are not cheap watches whatsoever. I think the last time I looked at a Jacob and Co watch, I think Travis Scott had one. And it was a nice one, but it was like a million dollar watch. I don't know exactly what model it was. Um, for this one, 
probably not gonna be too expensive, but as compared to that Travis Scott one, but this is definitely gonna be within like, I'd easily say 500, 600. So be prepared to spend a lot of money on this. Uh, looks like they're coming out with the pendant too. Jack Wilkham Company, the Supreme Pendant. Sick. Is it, okay, so is it solid or is it, okay, so it's 22 and 20 inch. It drops with the ring as well, nice. That's a 14K, okay. Yo, the coming, I heard they're coming out with an arcade. So you guys can actually get like an arcade game little thingy. And it, it's a Mortal Kombat collab. So holy shit, this is a really big collab. Um, obviously limited as fuck. Um, only the riches of the rich are probably gonna get it. Um, backdoored as fuck. If I could get it, I really would, but it's not happening. Really interesting collab though, nice. Uh, they're coming out with lipstick with um, Pat McGrath Labs. Uh, I've heard of the brand before. Uh, I don't really know too much about it though. Um, it's a lipstick, y'all. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's a thing. What is this? An actual sofa bed? So is it like an inflatable bed? Phone conference? Yeah, it's... Okay, yeah. That's... I don't know how to feel about it, but I could say it could do decent? I don't know. I have no idea. Probably super limited though. Huh. Interesting though. It's like one of those beds, you know, that you lay, I think it's one of those beds where you just lay down on, like back in the daycares where they just have the flat regular beds. Um, interesting, definitely interesting. Uh, might have to look into that. Fishbowl. So I think they were supposed to come out with this last season, but they delayed it. Fishbowl is looking like a cop, guys. Obviously, it's a fishbowl. Um, it is glass, a two-gallon one. So it's pretty good, decent size. Really awesome with for a display item if you um, actually have a fish or you want to fill it in with something. Definitely an awesome uh, accessory to have. So they're coming out with toothpaste. <laughs> I just, this is why I love the accessories because it's just so random. You just don't know what to expect. I've already peeped at what the accessories were, but looking back in it, it's just like toothpaste is happening. Am I gonna buy it? Yeah, because <laughs> I'm just that stupid. Okay, so I did hear that Chucky and Supreme are making a collab this season. I'm gonna keep it solid with you. Listen, I'm not like superstitious or anything whatsoever, but I don't know how to feel about this even having it in my room. <laughs> So, I mean, it's a sick item. Definitely gonna be worth a lot of money in resale, but that's to your risk. I might cop, I don't know, but don't know how to feel about it. They're coming out with jerry cans too, which is very interesting as well. Ooh, it's a lamp. Yo, all right, it's an LED tabletop lamp. Wireless, nice. USB rechargeable. Okay, so does that mean we have to charge the lamp or? Yeah, it looks like we might have to charge the lamp. Okay, battery life's up to 24 hours. Push button switch at the base. Four step um, dimmer, so it goes to different shades of like dimming of the lights, nice. They're coming out with vases and it's ceramic, oof. So hopefully you guys' orders don't have the vases crushed Cause I know that was a huge problem with like the uh, waterproof cases that happened with a lot of people. For the lighters, pray that it doesn't break. Uh, a watch plate. Ooh, bringing back the plates now. Okay. It is 12.75 in diameter and it's a porcelain plate. So sick, awesome display piece. If you guys are looking into that. Shore's doing a collab with Supreme. Is it like a good mic though? Not gonna lie to you guys, this might be cop. Just, I mean, not only because I make music, but it's like, I don't know, really cool item to me. Um, cool item to display as well, might be cops. Uh, folding chairs, nice. That would be awesome to have actually. Maybe display, but also like maybe just, just cool to have. A projector, it's an anchor nebula, capsule two. Portable projector with 200 ANSI, aluminum bulb. 16 by 9 HD resolution, play up to two and a half hours. Huh, a projector, definitely different. Okay, see that's what I like about this season so far, definitely different items as far as accessories. 
Um, yeah, that's a stepping stool. That's what I thought. I was looking at this on Instagram. Shatterproof plastic, 17.3 inches by 16.9. Maximum capacity is 330 pounds. So nice, awesome. I need a new stepping stool actually. So looking into that immediately. Okay, these are the items that got delayed. Um, the Spalding Supreme item I know got delayed. So hopefully you do get it this year. A deck of cards, I know I've seen that. Don't know how to feel about it yet. And it's clear too, different. Don't know how to feel about it though. Binoculars I think got delayed too. So that's coming out this season, hopefully. Ooh, a wrench. Listen, people thought people were not gonna go crazy over the crowbar, but this is a wrench. So this might do well, it may not, depending on you know what is what. All right, my bad, y'all had to readjust myself. I'm running out of time for the timer, obviously. I really need to fix that. But we do have the Wosky, um Zippo. They're coming back with another collab, but instead a Zippo with this particular design. So if you guys do not know about this design, there are now, two, I think, two of this type of design of this Zippo. I think it's just the regular one and the red and black, the red and white one, that's this. And then there's the glow in the dark one, which is the one I have. And now the third one is gonna be this one. If I'm gonna be completely honest with you, this is probably not gonna be really cheap. It's probably gonna be expensive, it's probably $80. So it's up to you if you wanna buy it. I think it's a really cool piece though. Definitely different. Um, might be looking into it. Uh, so it is a flask. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, 1.5 ounces. You know, don't know how to feel about it, but it's a flask. Pretty cool item if you ask me. Um, they have a folding knife, so if you guys are into knives, there you go, you have something. Um, what is this exactly? Okay, so it's, it is, um, it is Mophie, like I thought it was when I saw it on Instagram. Um, it's a portable battery charger with wireless transmitter for Q, for QI enabled devices, two USB ports, built in AC outlet. And even has the capability of jump starting a full size car. This is probably the most useful item that Supreme has ever made. Has a whole AC outlet. Okay, I'm gonna keep it solid too though. This is not gonna be cheap. This is like this is it has the capabilities of literally jump starting a car, a full size one. So if anything, this is probably gonna retail maybe $198 and up. But but this is probably the one of the most um, useful items that Supreme has ever made. So I will surely be looking into that more. Looks like they also have a headlamp. So for all those hypies that are just jogging out there, you know, getting their work on, on cause all the gyms are closed. This is for you, man. Okay, these are badges and it comes with a pack of a hundred. So you guys are not gonna run out, hopefully that way. I really wanna pull up to my work having a Supreme <laughs> work stick sticker on it. That would be so fucking funny. Wow, and they actually are making official phone cases. Cause I know a lot of them are not real Supreme phone cases. Um, there's, I think maybe a few, I think that actually got released as a phone case. Um, I know the Supreme Louis Vuitton one had one, but I, I'm i not too sure if it got recalled or not. I don't remember, but this item right here, I would look into. Um, really weird design that they chose. Um, but I think they did it for a reason because like I said, they do have a lot of imitation phone cases for Supreme. So just be wary of that. Um, it's a hydro pack. I think it'd be awesome to have definitely for going on hikes and everything. Um, it's a one liter bottle, so pretty good. Oh my God, Supreme and Air Force Ones are restocking it looks like, holy shit. This could be a bad thing or a good thing. Good thing. Let's go, let's go to the good thing. So the good thing about this is it's restocking. So you people have another chance. Bad thing is how many are they restocking and what is the market gonna look like right now? Cause I know for the market right now, they're looking pretty taxing on StockX for these things. I think they're going up to like 300, $400. But um, due to it may be restocking, um, might go a little bit cheaper. So if you're a reseller, I would cry like a lot, but hey, I don't have one. So <laughs> I might cop it. It's a Honor keychain. Oh, it's a harmonica. Um, I mean, cool. I mean, cool. Uh, definitely different. Um, 
detachable keychain. Oh, I think it's like one of those keychains. Yeah, it's retractable, so it's like one of those. Not too bad. Cool, cool item. A webbing keychain. This is actually pretty cool. I know a lot of people that would buy this, but there's a lot of imitations of those as well. Stay positive pins. I think those are going to be probably a free item, I'm guessing, that comes with your items, because I know I got like three different pins from like two seasons ago or last season. Stay positive. Not too bad. Decks. We're getting into skates and decks now. Um, awesome. Great overlook of the of the um, city. The jet one might be doing really well. That's a nice deck. Um, they have these ones as well. Don't know how to feel about it. Almost reminds me of bait though. So uh, Balloons doesn't look too bad either. Ooh, the pillar. Ooh, that's sick. Don't, they don't have too bad decks. And you have your regular, you know, accessory for skate accessories. So, yeah. Yeah, nothing different, really. So, uh, how do I feel about it? Um, this season, I'm going to keep it solid with you. Uh, it's looking very promising. Definitely a lot of different items I haven't seen done before. Um, as far as my knowledge, really, really looking into the accessories, uh, the Smurf and the Supreme Collapse, not looking too bad. Um, I had doubts, but some of the items are pretty decent, so not too bad, not too bad. The watch, of course, I would love to have, but that's just, I don't, I don't know how much they're going to retail. It's a Jacob and Company watch, they're going to be fucking expensive, just expect that. As far as the cross box logo, like I said before, I'm not a huge fan of, but let me know in the comments down below. Like really let me know what you guys think about those. I'm gonna keep it solid with you. I'm not the hugest fan. It looks really weird. Um, it's different, but not different's not always great. But the season's not looking too bad. As far as the lookbook, I'm looking into more of, let's say, I would rate it as a 7.8 out of 10. So I don't know if that was better than my last one. But this one's looking kind of promising. Fall and winter is usually like the better season in my opinion anyway. Because there's more jackets and more variety of stuff. But some of the jackets are really nice. Futura logo, definitely going to be something to look into. Smurf and Supreme Collab. Long hold. Obviously, if you want to quick sell it, that's up to you. But it's definitely going to be a remarkable classic item in the future. I have a, that's pretty much all I have to really say about the season. Um, the jackets are really looking promising. Obviously, the, the Fox and Supreme collab, easily probably going to get. Hopefully, I get my hands on it because I, I want it. I would like to thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for sticking with me. On my recording on my screen, it's like been an hour. On um, here, it's there's been multiple shots been taken. So, <laughs> I'm hoping it's not too long of a video. I'm hoping it's at least, at least like 23 minutes, 24 minutes. I don't want it to be, I don't want to bore you guys too much on this shit. But lookbook's not looking too bad. Thank you guys for watching and thank you to my sponsor of this video, UFO Notify. If you guys don't know who they are, they are a cook group that you can join in. Link in the description down below to the Twitter that links to their Discord. It is a paid membership, but if you use the code Mike, M-I-K-E, you get one month for free. And I trust me, it's definitely worth it. It is growing exponentially. Everybody talks in there. They give you really great advice on like bodying and stuff like that. Great advice on what's reselling. They have guides and everything for you. Great tech, one-on-one -on -one support. I would really look into that. Great monitors as well if you were looking into restocks and everything. So go check them out, UFO Notify. There will be in the link down below. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. And also stay tuned for more music, of course. Um, I love doing these videos for you guys as well, but music's kind of a top priority for me because it's just something I always wanted to do. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Deuces.